Hi guys, my name is Maria and I'm from Eurovisa.org from Poland and I'm here today in Amsterdam with representative of Austria. Who the hell are they? <laughs> that, that, no, I was thinking about this entrance like all the time. I wanted to say like, who the hell are you? But we actually know who the hell are you. <laughs> Taya and Selena. Our nice to meet you. Hi, Hi guys. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God, I think that was a bit dry, but no. Yeah. That's a no, no, no. I wanted to be like so funny, but yeah, it's, it's okay. okay. Never mind. <laughs> You know, I was talking to some people yesterday and we were like, okay, Austrian song, what do we think about Austrian song? We're like, it's pretty classic, but it's pretty like unusual. It's interesting, but it's like pretty normal. Like we had so a lot like good, positive feelings There's about your song. On, yeah. How would you describe the, maybe the genre or like, like three words about your song? Dance, pop? Yeah, maybe like meaningful dance pop. Yeah. Oh, yeah. deep. Yeah. Dance <laughs> pop. <laughs> yeah, like it's just, I mean, basically, it's just a funny song to dance to. Pella, you're like, in, <laughs> we love you being here, but <laughs> they just see your back, you know. He was like, shopping. Backpack like, okay, guy. He's <laughs> like, tick, tick, tick. <laughs> but yeah, basically, it's just a fun uh, song to dance to, but it has a meaning and, 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 and a message. So, so, yeah. Actually, I think it's. Yeah, it, it has a message in a very fun way, but in a very deep way, exactly. What did you say? Uh, I was scrolling through TikTok today, and I saw a TikTok like, uh, saying about how, this, how you've met on the, um, uh, I want to say dance camp, but it's like text, uh, like music writing camp. Uh, so do you know each other like since that very moment? No, no, we uh, know each other for like two years. Uh, we met at an Austrian like casting show. It's called Starmania. And we became friends. And then, yeah, after one and a half years, we started writing together, which is like a long time to... Not work together. Not working together. <laughs> yeah, but we, we've uh, been just friends, uh, really good friends for a long time. And then uh, we went to that Czech Eurovision songwriting camp. And that's when, uh, that was actually our very first session ever mm. when we wrote Who the Hell is Edgar. So I don't know, maybe, maybe it was good that we were such good friends beforehand and then only then started working together. Yeah. Do you think like mixing friendship and uh, music and a bit of competition and a bit of, you know, all this world is a good idea? I think <laughs> so, yeah, because we um, support each other. That is like the main point why I love doing this with Taya because there is not that... Oh yeah, I love you. <laughs> there is no... Concurrence, co concurrence? Co uh, yeah, there's no competition. Competition, yeah. thank you very much. I'm still learning my English. Um, there is no competition. We are just supporting each other and as women should do in that business. Um, sometimes that isn't the case but we are doing it so and I yeah we're, it. we're trying to be an example for that for that like we're in a male dominated field and and uh, you would expect women to have competition and to always compare each other but that's just not the case for us we we're always going to be there for each other and even even in the election process of who was going to go to your vision in the top three it was our song together but also her solo song and my solo song so it was, so a, it it was, was basically competition in a it way. was a competition yeah. kind of but at the end of the day we really really wanted to do this together and we're just so grateful that we can support each other and be there for each other so I would have great. done your background vocals so anyways yeah, yeah. <laughs> I would have been on Eurovision stage anyways okay <laughs> and her as well so <laughs> yeah we were like you know what uh, I would be so happy if you go but just so you know you have no right to say anything I'm gonna sing your backing vocal yeah yeah <laughs> and she was like yeah I don't know if I would have like background singers and, and I'm like, like I'm a girl gonna I'm anyway. gonna do it anyways you don't have a <laughs> chance to say no you know what's the great thing about you uh, I also was speaking about my, with my friend yesterday he was like yeah they have such a like like a good friend energy, you know, like to uh, to your viewers also. And sometimes the artists give that, you know, like a little bit distance vibe. But I think you are like, like, you know, like the neighbor you can always uh, go to and talk to. Do you like also that in real life, like non-music life? We are like such different characters, completely. Our style, how we are reacting to things, our characters. But I think that matches so well because we learn from each other. I do 
learn a lot from Taya because she's very calm in like in like situations, you know, like crazy situations, and I'm like that girl, you know. But you're always such great fun, and 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 I feel like we're we're such a good match, uh, and 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 we complete each other in such a cool way, and it's it's just for us right now. This whole experience is just having fun together, mm. and 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 experience this as good friends, and and I I feel like it's it's never been more authentic to us than than right now. So yeah. it's just I feel like what you see on social media is exactly what you would see behind closed doors, or what you see. At your, it's just us, you know. Yeah, can I be your friend also, please? Yeah. Last question: uh, Who the hell is Edgar? Is that a winning song of this year Eurovision? How do you like feel about that? Is it like, oh, we want more followers? We want like everybody listen to our music? We want to win because some people have this, you know, mindset. Yeah, I want to win Eurovision, and it's completely great, also. It's our childhood dream coming true, and I think this is here. yeah, this is like the most beautiful thing ever that happens in my life right now. So um, nothing else can top it, and that's why I don't like, or that's why we don't pressure ourselves to say, oh, we have to win this, you know. Um, as you always say, it's there is no, we don't keep compare each other with the with the other artists. It's just a huge family, a lot of love acceptance and I think that is the most important part of it yeah yeah just basically we're not pressuring ourselves uh, with any like result thinking or whatever we just want to do our best and and we would have done that anyways so we're just kind of having fun trying to enjoy every second of it and whatever happens happens you know yeah yeah I think yeah whatever happens happens but I do wish uh, you girls a big success in Liverpool because you deserve definitely with that song which I listen every day by the way <laughs> yeah Ooh, seriously give zero, 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 zero. <laughs> 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 champagne on your neck. yeah <laughs> yes so uh, yeah that was Austria 2023 uh, thank you so much uh, enjoy tonight because that will be a great party I yeah, think I yeah party. yeah it's always a great party here, as in Amsterdam normally. And I will see you in Liverpool, hopefully. Yes. Thank you. Bye bye.